hear it in the drops, and this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a 40 minute workout at race tempo. This isn't gonna be like your typical structured workout. It's gonna seem sort of random. It's gonna ebb, it's gonna flow, but that's how races are. We're gonna have some intermediate sprints. There's gonna be some lead outs and a hard, hard push at the end. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll talk about strategy and, and some of the things that are going on as it goes. But for now, clip in, start spinning those legs, and start getting warmed up. And I'll tell you all about it as we do a neutral lead-in through town. All right, let's go. As we're going through town here on a neutral rollout, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about FTP, your functional threshold power, for those of you that might be new to this. Your FTP is the maximum amount of power you can hold for one hour. This is gonna be uncomfortable, and it's gonna hurt a little bit, and at the end of the hour, you should be totally spent. Now, Think of it if you're a runner, like a 10K pace. You obviously can sprint and surge way faster than that if it's just for a minute or two. But if it's something you have to hold for an hour, you really gotta pace yourself. For, for this purpose, we're gonna say your FTP would be a perceived seven out of 10 effort. If you're gonna ride full gas, hard as you can in a sprint and you're gonna at the end of this thing. That's gonna be a 10 out of 10. So when we're talking about your FTP, if you're doing 100% of your FTP, think of it like seven out of 10. And I'll put up some reminders here on the screen and you'll be able to see that as we're going along. Let's practice this for a second. It'll also give your legs a little primer. Start out about a four out of 10. This is a nice endurance pace that you'll keep up all day. Start spinning it up a little faster. You're hitting five out of 10. You're hitting your threshold, hitting seven, a little faster. Gonna go to eight, up to nine. Now you're cruising pretty hard, this is nine. Very good, now start backing back down to seven, to five, to four. Nice endurance pace, that's great. Let's keep up this four for a little bit. So what's a good FTP to shoot for? An intermediate recreational racer, maybe towards uh, Cat 4, may have an FTP of 250 watts. They can hold 250 for an hour. If your trainer, or if you're using an exercise bike, if, if it has a power display, try to shoot for that. I'll put up here on the screen the level that we're aiming for based on 250. If you're below that, adjust as needed, but try to shoot for what we put up. If you don't have the watt meter, just go with a one to 10 scale. Remember, seven is a pace you can hold for an hour. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but you can hold it. If your FTP is above 250, you have a power meter and you know what you're doing. You don't need me to calculate it for you. The hammer's gonna drop here in a second, so we wanna be ready. Start spinning it up to a seven out of 10, 100% of your FTP. Not 100% sprint, but 100% of your hour pace. It's a little uncomfortable and you have to concentrate, but you can do it. Spin them up. Neutral rollout's almost over. When we make this corner, it's on and you do not want to get dropped on that first corner. At this turn, the race starts. There's going to be a big surge as everyone fights for a position. So you want to be able to bump it up to a nine. We're going to try to hit 325 watts, 130% of your FTP. This initial surge only lasts a few minutes until people settle in. You want to keep it up, 325 watts gonna start burning those legs a little bit. It's not gonna last too much longer. 
Got to hang in there so we don't get dropped up the first surge. Everybody's jockeying for position and trying to show their dominance. But they're going to run out of fuel and they realize they can't maintain this for the full race. Hold on for a few more seconds and it's going to start easing up. We're going to settle into a nice steady pace. You're doing great. Just a few more seconds. Just hang in there. Great job. Start backing off. That was only a minute. It sure felt like more. Now settle into a 5 out of 10. This is your sweet spot. 90% of your FTP. Looking for 225 watts if your FTP is 250. So aim for 225. 5 out of 10. Sweet spot is a good solid pace. Lots of racers train at this pace because you get a good workout and you'll see great results in increasing your overall FTP. This happens because you're able to hold this pace for a long extended periods of time. Well, you're not gonna be that lucky today. You're gonna have to put a little more work in in a minute. But for now, catch your breath, settle in 225 watts. This ride happens every Wednesday night all summer long here in Chico. It's my favorite ride and it's so fun. But there's a pretty heated debate whether or not this is a group ride or is this a race. Well, there's a pretty easy way to tell and we'll talk about that later on. Great job, you're doing awesome. We're coming up to a little windy section. We know this because we've scouted out this race and we've done it before. Everyone kind of backs off and goes nice and easy through these corners. No one wants to crash and get hurt and have to go to work tomorrow. Dial it down to a four out of 10, 175 watts. You could hold this pace all day long. We're gonna keep it here for about a minute. Catch your breath. Recover, get a drink. We know it's coming up. There's going to be a hard push as we're approaching the intermediate sprint. Put your water bottle down. Here it goes. When we make this corner, it's going to be a big surge as we enter the first of the intermediate sprint areas. Start picking it up. We're doing a 7 out of 10 up to threshold. 250 watts. Oh, there goes the first couple guys. We're not going to worry too much about them. It's a long ways to go. They're going to burn up their matches and bail out and not even finish the race. The unwritten rule in these sprints are it ends at the stop ahead sign. No one wants to sprint into an intersection and get hit by a car. So we're looking for that stop ahead sign. We're dialing it up a little bit. We're gonna get up to eight. Eight out of 10. It's gonna be a long, hard push to the end. Eight out of 10 is 300 watts. Get on this guy's wheel. We can hold it longer than him. Take advantage of that draft and we'll be able to slingshot past him. Keep pushing hard, eight out of 10. Right as we get in the draft, we're gonna feel it ease up just a little bit, getting that benefit of that draft. We're getting close, we're within our striking range. We're gonna bump it up to nine, 325 watts. So we're getting past these guys. Now we're gonna go full bore, full gas, sprint, go, go, go. We're not gonna worry about these guys up here. They're not even gonna finish. All the way to the stop ahead sign. Let's go, sprint, hard, 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 hard. 
Oh, good job. Oh, that was good. That was the first one though. There's plenty more where that came from. Get a drink, take a couple deep breaths, try to bring that heart rate down. I'm gonna take a few minutes here to recover a little bit, down to a two out of 10, 125 watts. You guys are doing great. Your legs should be all warmed up. Get ready to put some work in. You should be basically recovered. Well, at least as much as you're gonna be. We're gonna bring it up to five out of 10. 225 watts, 90% of your FTP. This is what we call your sweet spot. I'm sure we lost some people in that last sprint. And we don't want them to catch back up, so we're gonna put the pressure on. But none of us can last all the way to the end at such a high pace. So we're gonna fall into a pace line where everyone takes a turn pulling at the front. And together, we can keep the pace much higher than separately. And by attrition, we're gonna lose some people off the back. In the early and middle parts of the race, there's usually a pretty good spirit of cooperation. Everyone's gonna to work together to keep that pace high and try to drop some people out the back. So, in that spirit, we're gonna take our turn and a couple pulls in the front, and we're gonna to try to keep the pressure on. And hopefully, by the end, we have a much smaller group to sprint against. As we get closer to the front, there's less people blocking the wind. It's gonna start getting a little bit harder. We're up to about a seven now. As we come up to the front and take our turn in the front, a nice hard pull, we're up to an eight. 300 watts. The next person comes around the front, takes over pulling, and starts easing up a little bit. We're dropping back down to a seven. And the more people that get out in front as we slide towards the back, it's gonna ease up a little bit. Dropping down to a five out of 10, 225 watts. See this guy here on the left, the red and the white striped shirt? We're going to use him quite a bit this race. He's a great lead-out man, especially when he doesn't know he's being a lead-out man. Typically, we'd slide across here and start heading back to the front. But knowing what's coming up, the next intermediate sprint, we're going to use a little strategy. We're going to sit on the back a little bit and recover and be in a good position to go for that sprint. We don't want to be locked in on the inside, but we don't want to be out in the front in the wind burning matches right before the sprint. So we're going to take our time, we're going to be patient, and we're going to sit right back here, keeping it at a five. Okay, we're gonna start moving up a little bit, taking advantage of the draft as much as possible, getting ourselves ready to be in a good position to sprint. We're up to a seven now, 250 watts. Here's our lead out, man. Be on his wheel. Don't give up that wheel. Okay, we're gonna start dialing it up. He's making his move. He's gonna go around a few people, moving up to the front. We're spinning it up a little bit. We're up to an eight, eight out of 10, 300 watts. Making our move, staying on his wheel, staying in that draft. He's starting to fade. We're gonna go past him. We're bridging up to the front group. We're up to a nine, 325 watts. It's starting to hurt, starting to burn. Keep up that pace. We're making our move past these guys. Here 
we go. Full gas. Sprint, sprint. Down in the drops. We're standing up. Sprinting in the drops. Full bore. Ten. There's a sign. Oh, didn't quite get the win on that sprint. At least we got enough sprint points to uh, maybe get the green jersey. That was the Fimple Road Sprint. That's definitely the hardest one until the end. Now we have a nice long stretch in the middle where people start dropping off. So we have to make sure that, that we're not one of them. So put in the effort, stay in the front. If there's going to be a breakaway, we want to be in a good position to jump on it. We're not going to get the full recovery like we did after the last sprint. Everyone's interested in keeping the pace up and keeping the pressure on so no one can get back on who maybe fell off at the sprint. We're going to go straight into a pace line. The goal here is to keep the pace high. We're moving up to the front. We're up to a 7. Up to an 8. Taking a nice hard pull at the front. Keeping the pressure on. Here comes a rider around the front. Easing up a little bit. Back down to a 7. Keeping it going. There goes our lead out man. We'll keep an eye on him later. The more people get out in front, starting to ease it back. We're down to a 5. We're in our sweet spot. 225 watts. So we get a little bit of a breather while everyone else is taking a turn at the front. As we're moving back, we have to really pay attention to the fast side. When the last guy goes by, we got to slide across and surge to keep up and keep on his wheel. It's so easy to get dropped right here. We've got to really push hard to get up. Crank it up and don't lose that wheel until we can settle in. Hit 300 watts, an 8 out of 10 effort. It's going to back off a little bit, but we're going to stay steady on this fast side of the pace line. Good job. We made it. We're going to settle into a uh, threshold effort here, a 7 out of 10, 250 watts as we move up. Got to pay attention to what's happening. We're getting close to the front. One person ahead of us. Maybe pick a new gear, start spinning it up, increasing the RPMs. When he slides over, here we are up to 300 watts and 8 down in the drops. A nice, hard, steady pull. Keep it going. We're breathing hard. It's only going to last a few seconds. And here we go. Easing back down to a 7. And as we slide to the back, down to a five. Whoa, that was a quick rotation. Crank it up, up to eight, 300 watts to get back on the wheel. That happens sometimes as people get tired and start dropping off. Got to really pay attention. This happens so quick, we're not going to even have time to take a break. Keep the pressure on, 8 out of 10, 300 watts. We're going to go to the front, take our pull. This work's going to pay off for us because we're only going to get stronger at the end. Plus, it's a race of attrition. People are going to be dropping off the back with this much pressure. Great job. You can ease up a little bit. 7 out of 10. We're at 250 watts. You're 100% of your FTP threshold. Try to control your breathing. Recover as much as you can because these rotations are going to keep coming. Ah, look who's back. Our lead out man. Let's call him Steve. Well, his name is Steve. He's a great guy. We're down to a 5. 225 watts. Take a little time to do some active recovery as we slide to the back.
This rotation is a little longer since so many people took a break off the last one. Don't let that discourage you. They may be back, but they're getting tired and you're not. You're still strong. We're going to slide across to the fast side. Bump up the pressure up to an 8. 8 out of 10, 300 watts. Stay on this wheel. Surge up. Whoa, he wants in. We got to slide over a little bit. Things get squirrely here in the pack. But we lost the wheel. We have to surge up a little bit to stay on it. Now things are settling in. And we're back down to a 7. 7 out of 10, 250 watts. If someone's going to make a winning move or a breakaway, it's going to come from this front group. So that's why we have to put in the work and stay in the rotation and not just sit off the back. Oh man, why does it always get windy right when I get to the front? Start dialing it up, up to an 8, 300 watts, nice hard pull. Keep it going, keep it strong, keep breathing. Ease it back down to a 7. Starting to slide back through the pack. As we keep sliding back in the pack, we can back off a little bit, down to a 5 out of 10. Sweet spot at 225 watts. Hey, there goes Steve. Just over halfway through the race, this is where you start getting tired, start doubting whether or not you're going to make it. Stay strong, you're doing great. Focus on breathing and doing a little active recovery as we slide across and come back up the fast side. A little surge to catch that wheel, and then we're gonna settle in to some threshold work as we move up the side. Almost back up the front, start spinning it up, hitting 300 watts, 8 out of 10 as we take our turn on the front. Keep it up, 300 watts. It's taking longer and longer for people to come around you as they're getting tired. This is a good sign for us. Good time to take a drink, hit that water bottle. And hang in there. As we're slipping back, we're slowing up, backing off a little bit. We're down to a five out of 10. We're coming up to a rider here and we're gonna slow down as we go around him. We're also gonna be a bit neutral as we make this hard 90 degree corner up here. We're down to a four, and we're gonna coast through the gravel corner on a, at about a two. No one wants to go down on the gravel. 
Don't let this gnarly little corner fool you though. Right afterwards, there's a big surge as the race takes off again. This is the last third of the race and the pace starts getting relentless. So be ready. Take this little opportunity to get a drink. Control your breathing. Try to bring your heart rate down and recover a little bit. That was it. That's all the break you get. Now it's back on. Pump it up to an 8. 8 out of 10. 300 watts. We got to surge back up onto the group. Stay on some of these tires. Start getting that heart rate up. It's going to settle back into about a 7 here. We want to make sure that we're still in this front group. We don't get dropped at a critical point. Three wide here and coming up on our right is Randy. They say if Randy's in the race, you're guaranteed second place because you're not going to beat him. He's one of the best people I've ever met. He's a good wheel to get on if we can hang with him. Everything's pretty chaotic coming out of that corner. Real surgy. Three across. Just hang with it. It's going to settle in back to a normal pace line here in a few minutes. In the meantime, try to stay with it. Doing some FTP work right now. 250 watts just to stay on these wheels. Okay, earlier I told you there's a formula to decide whether this is a group ride or a race. Well, here it is. Everyone says if N, and N being the number of riders, is greater than one, it's a race. I'm not buying it. That's too simple. There's a better, more scientific way to tell. First, find acceleration, which is the change of velocity over time. Find the average acceleration of the group. If this is less than yours, it's a race. If the average acceleration of the group is greater than yours, nah, it's just a group ride. But this, my friends, is a race. So here we go. Bump it up. The pace is going to start picking up. We're about 12 minutes from the end. We should be up to an 8. 300 watts. We're starting to make some moves. We want to stay in the front. This is where breakaways start to happen. And we do not want to miss out on it. These pulls are getting harder. We're going to bump it up to a 9 to get around the front of him. Putting the hard work. 325. We're going to put a little damage on these guys. Keep the pressure on. Finally start backing down to about an 8. Tempo is way faster now. It's going to stay that way for quite a bit. about 10 minutes out from the finish. 
and we're going to start seeing some attacks. We're going to settle into it. 7 out of 10. Oh, too many matches burnt. He gone. I don't know if we'll see him again. We're going to settle into a 7 out of 10. 250 watts. Oh, here comes an attack. We're going to just stay on the wheels. We don't want to be out in front burning matches. We want to chase down anything that goes out in front of us. You guys are doing great. If you're hanging with them, you can be on my team any day. We have about eight minutes till the end. It's going to be relentless and there's not going to be much rest between now and then. Try to settle into a good rhythm, spin the legs, control your breathing. Everyone got excited for a second there and started putting in some attacks. Looks like we everyone settled down a little bit, realized we still have a few more minutes before the end and no one wants to flame out early. We're still working at 7 out of 10. Our FTP should be able to hold this for the next several minutes. Things are going to back off just for a second as we make this last 90 degree corner before the home stretch. You guys are putting in so much work. A 5 out of 10, 225 watt sweet spot is going to feel like a break. Coast just for a second, starting backing off. Last chance to take a drink, hit that water bottle. As soon as we straighten off this corner, it's on. A relentless finish. We have about three or four minutes left before the final sprint. Spin it back up to an eight, 300 watts. Stay on these wheels. We don't want to get dropped at this last section. We've worked too hard and we've come too far to miss out now. These big pushes can be hard, but you guys are doing great. You're strong. Your FTP is something you can hold for an hour, so you can hold this eight out of 10, 300 watts for the next four or five minutes. That spirit of cooperation we talked about earlier, that ended back at that last corner. We are going to sit on these guys' wheels. We are gonna to try to conserve as much energy and not get dropped so we have something to sprint for at the end. Stay strong, stick with it. Follow these guys, they come around. They're getting excited. They're gonna put in some attacks and all we have to do is go with them. Sure you noticed that this course is pretty flat. Here's the hill climb section. It's not a big climb, sort of short and punchy. Grind it out. Oh, there it is. We're up on the bridge. Oh. Woo! Hope no one got dropped. The climbs are tough but the descents are worth it. Take a little breather, you've earned it. Try to recover on the downhill. We're back on the flats. This is the final run into the finish. Start getting ready, control your breathing, and be ready to sprint. Keep yourself in a good position. We're gonna see lots of attacks. The key is to be patient. We know our striking distance, and we're gonna wait until we hit that moment before we pounce. Okay. 
you're doing great. Everyone's getting tired. As much as it hurts for you, it hurts just as much for these guys. Stay on their wheel. Maintain seven out of 10. We're at our FTP, 250 watts. When you're fresh, you can hold that for an hour. Even though you're tired now, you can hold it for four more minutes. Keep it up, you're doing great. Ha ha, look who's back. Steve, the lead out man. Stay on his wheel. This guy here in the orange, we've been seeing him all day coming and going throughout the pack. He's strong, keep an eye on him. comes the first move you want to stay with it bring it up to 8 out of 10 300 watts it's moving now and we're getting close don't lose that wheel 300 watts spin it up nice high cadence shoot for 90 to 100 rpms if you have a cadence counter we haven't talked much about cadence but keep the cadence high 300 watts here's a little bit of questionable strategy for us we're getting a little bit of side draft, not quite as much as if we were directly behind, but we want to be in a good position. We don't want to get boxed in because we know someone's going to come up on our left. Stay right here, getting a draft from Steve. All that work you put in earlier punishing your friends is paying off. They're fading. Pick it up. 9 out of 10. 325 watts. We're bridging across to the leaders. talked about patience these guys don't have it stay on their wheel let them bring you up maintaining 9 out of 10 325 watts get ready keep your cadence high you should be at 100 rpms we're at 325 watts after this next corner we're gonna make our move we're gonna sprint at the 200 meter mark it's gonna be about 10 second sprint be in the right gear keep your cadence up there it is. Go, go, go. Full gas. 10 out of 10 effort. Hard as you can. Almost done. This guy's fading. You got him. Crank it up. Go. Here comes the line. Oh, great job, everybody. Spin out those legs. Try to control your breathing. Catch your breath. Get a drink. What an amazing race. That was too close to call. I'll have to go to the photo finish, but that was a great ride. Just try to recover. Catch your breath. Just keep those legs spinning. Down to a 4 out of 10. 175 watts. Just start easing off the pedals. Slowing down over the next couple of minutes. Nice warm down. Get a drink. Get a snack. Ride home. If you like that, subscribe and follow us. There'll be more to come. In the meantime, take a firm grip, lean in the corners, and like always, live your life in the drops.